Box, back at it again. We're in the kitchen this week, y'all. We are, um, as you know, we are just three weeks married. And in this three weeks, we are also celebrating my wife, Dr. Tana J. Hicks's birthday as well. Okay, so we're gonna do a birthday dinner uh, for my wife. Of course, you all know we are vegan, so we're gonna try to jazz it up a little bit with our vegan recipes. Um, she doesn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I kind of know, but don't really know. But hopefully you all can follow along. She'll follow along and try to guess or understand where I'm going with this. And hopefully by the end, we got a, a, a pretty good plate. I'm gonna try to figure it out, y'all. Who knows? Y'all right, play along too. He won't too. tell me. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, let's go ahead and get on into it. We got a little mees already set up. A little mise en place. Okay. Um, we're gonna do something I've seen and uh, I guess I've seen on TV in a different rendition or a different way. Um, but right now, We'll go ahead and split beans on that. What you see down there is tofu. So we got some tofu that is, um, we're pressing it, try to get all that liquid out or at least a good amount of liquid out of that. Are we gonna use this? Uh, we can. You want a shot? <laughs> no, I'm good. You might need a shot. I might need a shot to see what, um, see what this takes us. But, so we have the tofu pressing right now. Uh, we got acorn squash, we got Brussels sprouts, we got some parsnips, all right, some pistachios. We're gonna work them out there. Um, and tofu, all right. Got the ingredients, the, the, I guess the basic ingredients. So play along, see where we're going with this. Uh, what we're gonna do first, we got the oven already preheated, we got this pressed already. We're gonna go ahead and prep these uh, root vegetables. So both our parsnips and our uh, what did I say before? I said acorn squash. It's butternut squash, y'all. All right. Make sure you don't go to the store asking for acorn squash because they ain't gonna look like this. Butternut squash. All right. They still in season, I think. Here we go. I've never cooked with parsnips before. Hmm. So what are you gonna make with these parsnips? What you think? <laughs> uh, maybe a mash maybe. instead of using potatoes, use parsnips. Maybe. Um. Well, I will say. That is a um, a good uh, guess, mm. but not quite um. close. These things actually smell like carrots. Like I can't, I can't tell you how much of a. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like messing with my head because <laughs> it's like I smell carrots, but I'm looking at a very white root vegetable. So fragrant. Let us know in the comments, man. Have y'all had parsnips before? Let us know. 
It's a little butter and milk, man. A little butter and milk. Vegan butter, to be sure. Mm -hmm. Flaxseed milk, also, to be sure. We're gonna add some salt to that as well. Not too much. My wife wants me to live, so we cut back on the salt, y'all. That's right. Um, but we gonna add some salt tonight. No measurements here. <laughs> a little milk, a little butter, a little salt. So guys, I'm still lost. He's cut up the butternut squash in cubes. The oven is still on. Nothing's in it yet. Uh, you gotta preheat your oven, man. Yeah. The oven can't be lagging behind. <laughs> uh, I really, the only thing that I can think of is the possibility of a mash. He's already told me that that's not quite right. So I don't know, I guess we'll just keep watching and waiting for the final product. The whiskey's still there, the tofu's still there. <laughs> So we did, got our little mise done for the most part. Got our little roasting pan sheet tray out. Some root vegetables and some green vegetables. What is it? This is our butternut squash and got some Brussels sprouts. All right, gotta have a little green to you. So what we do, we need a little salt. We're gonna hit it with a little pepper, paprika, and some garlic, y'all. This looks familiar though, right? We got a little cheap tray, veg on it. The oven is preheated. You got no idea? Yes. Any idea? Uh, roasted vegetables. There you go. <laughs> nice, easy preparation. Get that little mouse one. Get that little toss. All right, got some nuts, some pistachios. A little nooch. A little nooch, y'all. Nutritional yeast. I still don't know. It's taking it off the heat now. Something's going down. Hmm, I have no idea. Our new 
Nucci. <laughs> our Nucci, uh, what are these? Parsnips. Parsnips, I almost called them rutabagas, that's not right. Our Nucci parsnips are now in the blender. Who knows, guys? Who knows? <laughs> say a soup or a sauce but that's pretty thick still looks like mash is it a soup or a sauce or a mash neither and neither oh my gosh is it gonna be a smear on the plate look closer we watch a lot of cooking shows so I know that they plate with those smears. <laughs> Since it's my birthday, he's gonna get real fancy. <laughs> so, our parsnips are done, blended. Any idea? I think it's a parsnip smear for the plating. Uh, it is a smear or well, yes, you're correct. Uh, in some circles, you can call it a parsnip puree. Ah. That will be smeared on the way. <laughs> a parsnip puree. Okay, fancy. And now you're working with the tofu? Mm hmm. So it has. I know what it is now. Been pressed. What is it? <laughs> you're going to make. Um, a grilled tofu? Oh, we got a grill? No, we don't. Oh. You're gonna make a pan fried tofu. Uh, possibly. You're gonna make a pistachio crusted mm. tofu that has been prepared in a pan. Am I correct? Uh, yes. So, She's working through these elements. So it will be a pistachio crusted tofu. Um, we got the parsnip puree on the bottom. Pistachio crusted tofu. And what's in the oven? Roasted vegetables. We'll finish it off. Ooh, this is fancy, y'all. Okay, I see it's coming together. All right. Now we know, and I figured it out, I win. Should I get a bite of everything at the same time, or one at a time? However you want to eat it. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this. Get some Brussels sprouts. Dip it in the smear. Mmm, look at that. 
Mm. It's really good. It's rich, but hearty. It has good texture. You get some soft tofu, but a little bit of the crunchy pistachio. And also the roasted vegetables are a little bit like the charred cake flavor. Mm. I feel like that's really added, added touch there. I really like it. Mmm, good job. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, y'all. Y'all saw the prep. Y'all saw the vision come to life. Uh, hopefully, it seems like my wife likes this. And so, yeah, has some inspiration from Pinterest, from Food Network, of course, uh, all over the place. Uh, a couple different Instagram accounts I follow. Uh, but yeah, man, pistachio crusted tofu. All right, we can make great vegan food. All right, if you just willing to cook, put a little flavor in, you know, a little season, a little dash of salt, paprika, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, man, this is our our video for the week. The juice box, being healthy, staying healthy, trying to be well, the whole nine. Uh, keep following us, YouTube on Facebook, on Instagram, at the Juice Box CBD. T-H-E-J-U-C-B-O-X CBD. Of course, it's down in the uh, profile and in the info. Yeah, and it'll be on this video. You yeah, see it right, you see it right there. Yeah, you own the page. Keep out on that page that you're looking at this from. Um, we appreciate y'all. All right, peace. We'll see you next week. Thank you. So basically Jared needs to put his food page back up on Instagram or just needs to add more content because look at this y'all. I mean he really showed out for my birthday.